Santa knows where to find all the best and hottest smartphones just in time to make this Christmas better and bigger than ever. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Ho, 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 ho. The murder trial for James Huffman IV in the stabbing death of 24-year-old Michael Hogg on New Year's Day 2014 entered its third week Monday. After the prosecution in the case rested last Friday, Huffman's defense team began calling witnesses Monday morning. The second witness called to the stand was one of Huffman's alleged stabbing victims, Stacy Phillips, who suffered a non-life-threatening cut to his hand. Defense attorney Robert Wright focused on a shirt found near the scene similar to the one Hogg was wearing the night of the incident. He also focused on other evidence collected at the scene. I'm going to point to here, to here. The best we can tell from this photo, does it appear that there are buttons missing? Yes, that's, it appears that way, yes. Michael Hogg had his this flannel Carhartt shirt buttoned up, did he not? Uh, yes, I believe so. Yes. So, no question in your mind, or you believe that this picture that we just shown the jury is a shirt that Michael Hall was wearing that night, that morning, that night, and that morning. Yes. Yes. No question. Huffman is accused of stabbing Hogg to death and also stabbing Christopher Puckett and Phillips following a confrontation over the bottle of whiskey. During opening statements, Wright indicated the stabbing was done in self-defense. Defense witness testimony is expected to pick back up Tuesday. In Whitesburg, Chris Anderson, EKB News.